Teacher Talk in Sports, what it does, what it do, how we live. And when we talk about the GOATs in certain sports or certain positions, it causes a lot of debate amongst fans. When it comes to NFL quarterback, a lot of people were would say that Joe Montana was the GOAT at the position until Tom Brady came, won seven Super Bowls. Uh, but Joe Montana, definitely no slouch. Went 4-0 and in the Super Bowl himself. There's probably still some people who would say Montana is the best to ever do it. Well, Joe Montana was asked that very question. And he did not go with himself or Tom Brady. Instead, this is via Pro Football Talk Joe Montana calls Dan Marino the best quarterback in NFL history. Uh, a lot of people call him the best ever to never win a Super Bowl, uh, but you don't really hear many people call him the GOAT. Um, I do think sometimes Super Bowl rings are taken too much into account and lower the value of some guys who didn't get it. But let's see what Montana had to say this via Pro Football Talk. Uh, when Joe Montana retired, he was widely regarded as the greatest quarterback in NFL history. Montana has since been surpassed in the opinion of most NFL observers by Tom Brady. But Montana says neither he nor Brady is the best. Dan Marino is the best quarterback in NFL history, Montana says. So put Marino in today's game where he gets free release and his receivers. Holy cow, weren't very big, Montana told Men's Health. Of course, uh, he had the Marks, Mark Clayton and Mark Duper for most of his career with Miami. Now these guys are six foot four, six foot five. I think Marino is probably one of the most uns unsung heroes of the game. People don't talk enough about him or realize the numbers that he put up during the times that he put them up. He had a quick release. I had to step into a lot of things to get enough force on the ball, Montana said of Marino. He had the perfect torque of his upper body and strength to deliver the ball quickly at a fast release with accuracy. So Montana going with Marino in the GOAT quarterback debate. If we take a look at uh, Marino's career numbers... You see 147 and 93 as a starting quarterback, 61,361 yards and 420 passing touchdowns. Uh, of course, his era of passing is not quite like it is today. Uh, so the fact that he put up numerous 4,000 plus yard seasons, he actually had six of them in his career, is mighty impressive. And that 1984 season, I think when you look at it based on era, could be the mo I actually probably consider it the best uh, season in NFL history by a quarterback. Uh, 5,084 passing yards and 48 passing touchdowns. Won the MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. Those were records that uh, stayed records for over two decades. Uh, so just extraordinary numbers for the time. Of course, that season they made the Super Bowl and lost to Joe Montana and the 49ers. That was his second season in the NFL. Never appeared in the Super Bowl again, but you see a ton of bold ink on his football reference page. Leading the league in many categories. Three straight years was a first-team All-Pro from 84 to 86. And also was a second-team All-Pro, I believe, three times. So what are your thoughts? Uh, do you believe Dan Marino is underrated in NFL history just because he doesn't have that Super Bowl ring? Um, I personally would include Marino in the top 10 quarterbacks of all time. I do tend to believe that sometimes uh, guys are underappreciated just because they don't have that Super Bowl ring. Um, and it goes in other sports as well. Of course, um, MLB don't really see it as much. I mean, Mike Trout seen as an all time. Mike Trout is seen as an all time great, even though he's never even won a playoff game in his career. Uh, guy like Ted Williams never won a World Series. Ken Griffey Jr. and they're still seen as legends. But of course, in the NBA, we see it frequently. 
Um, guys who don't have a ring maybe are sometimes underappreciated, and especially at the quarterback position in the NFL. It seems to um, you know underrate these guys in history. Marino, uh, maybe a Dan Fouts, Warren Moon, guys like that who never won Super Bowls. Fran Tarkington, uh, Jim Kelly. Uh, Tarkenton and Kelly made multiple Super Bowls, just never won it. But Joe Montana saying that Dan Marino is the best quarterback of all time. Teacher talking sports. Don't forget to subscribe.